What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. You just heard a noise, probably. Don't worry, it's important. We're gonna bring it up. We got something to talk about. Like and subscribe before we get started. Thank you guys for being here. By the way, my name is Damien, if you didn't know. If you do know, hey. So, I ordered something on Amazon, and I wanna share it with you. So, I'm going to. Here it is. We're gonna open it with my handy dandy this is from Ozark Trail. Okay, flip that <clears throat> open logo. Go ahead and get it, get it, get it. Ozark Trail. I've become like, I don't want to say a super fan because I'm not a super fan, but I've become a pretty big fan of things from Ozark Trail. So I actually just bought a light action rod from Ozark Trail and I put an older Ozark Trail reel on it that I got from a brother and the bomb.com. I'm hoping I can get something done with it this weekend. But anyways, Ozark Trail. Isn't she pretty? God dang, she's pretty. In the beginning, I didn't think I was going to like this knife, but it grew on me hyper fast. Usually I didn't, I mean, originally I didn't like it because the clip was hyper strong, but you know, I used it a couple times and now it's easy to put on and off and she just looks good, baby. All right, get her open and she's sharp, huh? Eh? She's sharp. All right. What I got for you. Oh, man. A package within a package. What are they doing to us? What are they doing to us? Let's open this up. Gonna make a bunch of noise. Sorry. Cover your ears. If you want to grab a drink while I open this, go for it. Bring me one. Here we go. All right. Here we are. Now, what did I get? I got stuff that I'm dropping. You realize my face when I pick that up and show you what it is. It's a, uh, well, just wait until I show you. All right, so what I got is a, basically it's an EDC holster or sheath, <laughs> depending on what you want to call it. So, here she is. It's very basic, okay? Belt loop, belt loop. This is the back side of it that goes against your body. I've already got one concern just by looking at it, but we'll go over it. So, a couple different things going on here. First thing is, this portion right here is where you put your flashlight or any type of cylindrical device. So if you've got a flashlight you wanna put in there, if you've got an axe handle that's small enough, see if I can. Okay, I can't do it, but if you got an axe handle that you could fit in there, that would help. Just something small. I'm not talking about a freaking big pickaxe or anything like that, but that would fit perfect right in there. Here, I, oop, not there. Where are we at? Right here on the photos, this little piece here is for like a, like a tactical pin or a flashlight or a tactical pin that has a flashlight, you know, whichever. Put a little tiny flashlight right here. And so you've seen those like really long, thin flashlights that would be perfect for right there. But I really like the idea if there's like a combination of a tactical pin and a flashlight, there's the home for it right there. This baby right here is actually, so this one's wide and it's big enough for a multi-tool. Now. I have a multi-tool that I think might be too big for this. What I would probably want to do is maybe spend a little bit more money uh, to get like a Leatherman and put that baby in here or even Gerber. Honestly, Gerber has come out with a lot of super freaking cool stuff. I don't know if I could justify the prices on them, but I may have to just to try them out. Maybe we'll do a video where we compare Gerber versus a Leatherman. I've already got it in my mind who I think is gonna put a whooping on who, uh, but maybe that's a video that we do later. This here, it's like a little carabiner looking deal. Um, this is basically to hang, pick your choice. What do you wanna hang? Do you wanna hang your car keys? Do you wanna hang anything else? Whatever you wanna do. Maybe hang a ferro rod. I don't know why you would hang a ferro rod on EDC, but if you wanted to, you could. It, it, you can repurpose this not for EDC and maybe something else. But it's made of leather. 
and I've got brown. And so in the picture, it looked like it was already patinaed. Clearly, that's not what happened. It's just the black and brown. So this will patina over time, and I love that look. That's why I chose this color, not solid black. And so I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually already pumped up about it. If I don't wear this on my actual waist, and actually, so in the beginning of the video, I said I can already see a problem that I think exists, and it's this part right here. I think this, when I sit down, I think this is gonna dig in me. So my belt line would be here. So when I sit, don't look at my fat rolls. It's gonna get into me, right? Or, or maybe not, we're gonna try it, okay? When I go walking around tomorrow and stuff, I may, I don't have anything to put in here. Actually, I just reviewed a multi-tool. Go look at that video, okay? It's the Willock multi-tool, nine in one. So go ahead and go ahead and take a look at that one. That may actually fit, I bet it would fit right here. It'd fit right smack in, it'd probably fit in both of these. I'll just put the clip on the outside, but it'd probably fit right here. Uh, but then I don't have anything for these other two, so I've got to add to it, hang your car keys right here. And so that's actually pretty interesting, so I don't have to have my car keys in my pocket. Because when I have my car keys in my pocket, they're jabbing me. And then if I have it on my cargo pocket, on the side of my leg, jabs me or bangs against the, my bony knee as I'm walking. It's not comfortable, and it's loud. And this actually is loud too, so we'll see. Maybe we'll take this, whatever. Anyways, so here it is. Leather, mm, smells like real leather seems to be stitched pretty good and so the quality of this i'm actually very happy with and the color of it i'm actually very happy with i thought it was going to be stiffer than this like this is super easy to bend like how flimsy that is and so i'm actually not mad at it at all and as i said as this patina is over time this is going to look so freaking cool so even if i do put this on and i don't like how this is when i bend down and stand up or whatever if i think it's jabbing into my side i still can put this on like let's say like a shoulder sling bag right put a shoulder sling bag put this baby on there and i've got tools here like that i think would be cool strap it to a backpack a molly pouch anything like that a molly backpack this would be perfect i'm very i'm so 10 out of 10 i'm giving this a 10 out of 10 just because i know there's a lot of potential in this i get multiple places to make use of this uh i'm really I, i'm excited and so now, if the application is gonna work, it's gonna be another video. You're gonna to have to keep watching my videos so you can see me put this baby to the test because I'll whoop it when you see me go on hikes and everywhere else. And so uh, we're, we're gonna put her to the test. But as of right now, just the unboxing of this, I'm happy with it. So another Amazon purchase. Amazon, you're getting her done, baby. So I'm happy about it, guys. Thank you for what, oh, you know what? The thing I was mad about. I, man. I'm sure they have a purpose. I know that they do. In like certain very specific scenarios, these are awesome, um, I'm sure. But I'm just not crazy about them, man. I feel like they're freaking gimmicky, but it's this. These darn credit card tools. This is a bottle opener. Get all your hex wrenches right here. This is not like a paracord. I'm not even, like this is such a skinny line. I'm sure it's just like maybe to do a, uh, Oh, what's it called? You get three sticks, you put them together and you bind the top, you make like a TP-10. Or if you wanna um, do that little tripod stand, tie a tripod stand so you can smoke meat, whatever whatever it is you wanna do, dry out some clothes. Uh, you can use this little rope for that. It's very small, very thin, and it seems a little flimsy, but uh, maybe you can use it for that. You've got your flat head right here. You, what is this? This is a can opener right here. You've got your measurements. On the side here, uh, let's see, looks at, it's a three inch measurement and then a one inch, one inch measurement. This maybe is a fish scaler is my guess. And I mean, that's kind of all I got that I recognize on here. Um, other than these sharp corners, maybe that's like to debark a tree or something like that, or to score some wood to make your own tender. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I, I'm just not freaking crazy about these. So if you like them, good for you. But I didn't even know that this came with it. It was just, it fell out of the bag when I was pulling that out of there. So if you like this stuff, okay, great. I might do a giveaway where I give you every one of these I ever came across. <laughs> so anyways, hope you guys liked the video. I love hanging out with you guys. I hope that you love hanging out with me. A lot of more videos that are coming. 
And so like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for being here. Live your life, live your truth. See you in the next video. Bye.